Ladies and gentlemen, the Baker Brothers! Oh, wait a minute! What in the hell is this? Oh, wait a minute! That is That looks to be Chris Sterling and the Irish Warrior! They're not scheduled to be here today! And they have set their sights on the Baker Boys! Taking it to them! Look at this! Oh my God! I didn't even see them earlier when it, in the locker room. These guys aren't supposed to be here. James, I, all right. I, I, I can't argue that, but I'm not the guy to talk to. What do you want? Well, you want a reason? Well, I'll give you the reason. The same reason that every single person in that locker room, when they gear up and walk down that aisle into that ring. If you don't get that, then you don't understand us at all. We will not be forgotten. And T Phoenix, we are just about underway to kick off the second half, and there is no love lost between these two. You know what I hate, Bobby Rossi? Um, everything? Yeah, everything. I hate music changes. Hate music changes. Sean Leader wants to be a reincarnation of Jimmy Hansen, clearly. Hey, well, at least he's sticking to one moniker. I'll give you that. It's a cute little choker that he has around his neck. Again, we are not going to judge one by their lifestyle choices, um, none, uh, more or less on their our athletic prowess. Easy for you to say. <laughs> well, as I was saying before, both best of friends and tag team partners former members of the epidemic these guys have got one another's number i mean there's not a whole lot that either one can bring to the table that the other is not expecting so i'm not quite sure if anyone has the advantage in this matchup t oh you nailed it right on the head former members of the epidemic former tag team champions they know each other inside and out so it's going to take a little bit of trickery for one to get the better to the other <laughs> I don't know, Sean Leader might have found some sort of strategy, man. He, he's, he just booped the nose of Tom Billington. He's already gotten into his head. Have you ever had your nose booped? Well, I have, but I mean, I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't be expecting it in the middle of a matchup, and I think that's where uh, that's what Tom's uh, confusion is. <laughs> Look at this. And Tom is just not having it. He is beside himself. He is seething right now. Sean Lee is playing mind games, dude. He has got himself a strategy. Piss off Tom Billington, sound strategy. If Tom catches you, however, he's gonna put a hurting on you. There's no doubt about that. He's got a low center of gravity, and he's got himself a short, stout stance. That's Tom a, has got himself the yeah. ground and pound, and probably one of the better ground and pound styles I've seen out of anyone in the RWA. That's a very fancy way of saying he has a fat ass. <laughs> well, look at this fancy wrestling we got going on in the ring here. Tom wisely putting the knee to the small of the back. Whoa! Roll up! Deep arm drag, and now Sh Sean Leader's got himself a, a solid cinch into the shoulder. Tom Billington still beside himself. He's not quite sure what he's going to do for an attack, and right now, Leader's got the advantage. What's he setting him up for here? Hey, 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 hey. 
Now I've really, I've seen it all. I really have. 10 Betty Boops for Tom Billington. His nasal cavities have never been more clear. Unless it's after a Taco Tuesday. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! And Billington taking full advantage of the t ponytail as Sean Leader. Oh, wow. All the fun and games are over now. The terror is all business. What did I tell you? You piss him off, but when he gets his hands on you, it's all business. And here it is, man. You were not lying. These guys are going blow for blow right now. And oddly enough, it still seems to be anyone's game. The left, right to the jaw. Belly to belly. belly. Wow. I beat you to it. <laughs> I mean, right into the turnbuckles. We've seen plenty of overhead belly to bellies before, but that one has got no give whatsoever. No, absolutely not. That's the difference maker right there. This is all but over, if you ask me. Single underhook DDT. Tom's got himself a cover. A little lackadaisical, in my opinion. He could have afforded to apply a bit more pressure. Maybe it's about proving a point. Who knows what goes through the demonic mind of Tom Billington? I don't know. I, I don't even attempt to try to venture a guess. Ever since he's given up the sauce, Tom Billington has been just an absolute ball of mayhem and madness. And I guess we found out uh, at Thanksgiving Throwdown, he banished Sean Leader to an alternate dimension and only returned thanks to the help of Dr. Artemis Complipont. And we saw that at the conclusion of Thanksgiving Throwdown, Dick Lane, Isana, and Tom Billington have apparently banished Dr. Cobblepot back to an altered dimension. Really crazy times here at the RWA, Bobby Rossi. <laughs> Say the least. Whoa! Insane! And I'm not talking about Dick Lane. I'm talking about that Death Valley driver. That was a 2.8 by my watch, T. Phoenix. That, that was insanely close. He spiked him on that Death Valley driver and wow I, and if it wasn't if it wasn't from the lack of kick hook in the leg, it may have been a different story. Well Tom's got him in a double underhook. And it looks like he's gonna take him up and over. But not so quick to make the cover. He just wants to lay in those nasty forearms. What is going on between these two? Like, there has to be some deep-rooted issues here that we are not even aware of. I mean, former tag team champions, friends become foe, and, and now, like, banishment to alternate uni universes. I mean, I don't know, man. It, it's a little bit beyond my scope of thought. Oh, but Sean Leader thought he was mounting a comeback. Not too soon. Soul food, baby! Did and he just say good day, sir? I believe he did. He is from another universe. And this is it. This is the moment that Leader needs to capitalize upon if he wants to get the victory over Tom Billington. I'm almost certain I just saw Tom spit out some teeth. Ducks the line. All right, Conrana. Oh! oh, coming in hot. I think Leader didn't uh, end up the way he wanted on that landing. Good ring awareness, though, by Billington. And I feel as though Sean Leader, although he was caught up in the heat of the moment, he should have known better. He does know better. Our West Warwick locals have rallied behind the freak show. Oh! Sit down, powerbomb! Wow, that surprised me. I can't believe he only got a two off that sit down, powerbomb. I could have sworn that that was three. 
And Tom Billington thought it was a three as well as he's yelling at our referee, Jeremy Bell. You know, one can never take it away from Leader. He's always had a lot of heart. And it, it goes to show you right there. That's, that's heart personified right there. Oh, man. Vintage Billington with the clothesline in the corner. Wait a minute. What's, what's Tom doing? Tom's got his sights at... Oh, no. This is an old oh, my God. Move, no? Billington is going to take the head off a short leader. No. Tom, don't do it. Wait a minute. Whoa. Damn near a three count. Sean Leader at the very last second pulled Billington in for a pin. Counter. Here is your winner, Sean Leader. A series of reversals leads to the pinfalls by Sean Leader and Billington is not pleased. This is not the last time we're gonna see the two of these mix it up in the ring. I guarantee that. This is a rivalry that spans galaxies and universes. Can it even be settled inside of a wrestling ring?